Hey, happy Tuesday. Kind of irritated. I, I'm at Walmart and I got here early this morning. I got up and came up here early thinking I could do a walkthrough in the, the school supply section because they started putting out school supply stuff about three weeks ago. It was, it was about three weeks ago they started putting that stuff out. And I thought for sure by now they would have finished putting it all out. There's not that much. I mean, there, you know, they do have a lot, but there's not that much that, you know, three weeks later you're still putting it out. And again, I don't work here. I don't know how things work, and I'm sure there's a reason for it. But they have about 10 people swarming around the school supply section, putting stuff out slamming boxes, shouting back and forth to one another, and then there's this one very energetic uh, employee over by the self-checkout who keeps talking to them as they work, and she's shouting to them from the self-checkout and asking them just random questions, and they're shouting back to her, and then they're laughing. There's nothing wrong with that. I like to see people having a good time at work. I really do. And this, whoever is helping with self-checkout is a parent. She is definitely a morning person because it's early and she is definitely a morning person. She is very energetic and very loud and she would just burst out into song. She would just start singing and then she said she was taking requests and then the people in the school supply section were shouting out requests and she was singing parts of songs and it was very loud and I just expected a dance to break out and they'd get on the loudspeaker like, fuck! Sorry, but I got about eight minutes into trying to make that video and I just said, this is, this is hopeless. This is hopeless. I have eight minutes of video. I'm going to have to edit out at least seven of those eight minutes because of slamming boxes, people dropping things, people yelling, people breaking out into song. Jesus God, I don't know. So yeah, it's not going to happen today. A lot of times I will go into a store fully, you know, hoping to make a video and it just, it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. That happens a lot, a lot more than people realize. Why don't you ever make this kind of video, that kind of video? Like I've been trying, I've tried, I've tried to make it. It just, it never works out. So yeah, I, I'm going to have to come back another day or go to another store or something. This one just is not it's not, it's not going to work today. So, but I have to go home and get to work. Actually, I have to go home and start calling the insurance company again. I'm still dealing with the dental insurance mess. They're still saying they never got any of the claims. The dentist office sent them again over a week ago. They are still saying they never got anything. We've confirmed the address, you know, the electronic submission, the fax number, Every time it's sent, we confirm, yes, this is where we send it. Thank you. Okay, just confirming we have everything correct. They, they just keep saying they never got anything. I talked to the insurance commission. They said that since this company is self-pay, like it's not a company, you know, like I'm not getting this insurance through my job. I'm a self-pay person. Somehow they don't have any jurisdiction over these this company. I don't know why that matters, but apparently it does. So then they had, they said I needed to talk to the Department of Labor and that the Department of Labor could help me. Well, I got through to somebody with the Department of Labor and they said, no, we don't handle that. You need to go to the insurance commission for that. And I said, well, they told me to talk to you. And the Department of Labor person said, well, that may be, but you need to go back and talk to them again because we can't help you. There's nothing we can do for you. The insurance commission has to help you. We can't. It just, it pisses me off because I know I'm going to have to pay all these claims. It's about, it's around $1,400 that the insurance company was supposed to pay. They've, they, but they keep saying they never got the claims. I've sent them in numerous times. The dentist office has sent them in numerous times. They sent the claims again over a week ago and they are still, the insurance company still says they never received anything. They're not denying the claims. They're just saying they, we haven't received any claims. So there's nothing to deny because we haven't received anything. So 
I, I, I'm at a loss. Like, I don't, know, I don't know what else to do short of flying to El Paso and delivering them in person and sitting down and talking to somebody. Other than that, I don't know what to do. And this company is very sneaky. They have, they have offices all over the place. Their clearance, their, their clearance, all the claims go to El Paso, but they also have an office in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and they have something in like Utah and Oklahoma. Like they, I, you don't really know where they're located. They're, they're, they have offices all over the place. Where's their main office? Nobody seems to know. Nobody seems to know because everybody I talk to gives me a different location for the main, like the head office. I've been told it's in like four different states. Like nobody knows. This company is shady as hell. I do not have insurance with them anymore. I canceled my insurance back at the end of um, May, I think. Um, but these are for claims that, you know, took place when I still had insurance and they are supposed to pay. But they're saying they never got anything. Anyway, I have accepted the fact that I'm I got screwed by a shitty company and I'm going to have to I'm going to have to pay these claims. I'm going to have to just pay them. I'm going to have to take it out of I had money saved up for my siding. I'm going to have to take it out of that to pay it. It's like $1400. I'm going to have to just pay it. These fuckers are just never going to do it. The last time I talked to somebody, um I I just <laughs> that's what I said to her. I said you're not ever going to pay these, are you? Y'all are just, you're just never going to pay these claims. You have them. I know you have them. You're just, why won't you just admit it? You're just never going to pay them. You're just, you're just, you're not. Why don't you, I would feel better if you would just say that. Yes, ma'am, that's correct. We will never pay these. Not because we aren't supposed to, but because we just don't want to. We just don't feel like it. So we're just going to keep saying we didn't receive them. And we're just not going to pay it. If you would just say that, somehow it would be easier to let go. But I'm not, I'm not going to let go. I'm not going to stop. Not that easily. I'm going to keep bugging them and I'm going to keep calling them. But I'm going to have to just go ahead and pay them. Because some of these claims are over a year and a half old. And it's not the dentist's office fault. It's not their fault. You know, they, they deserve their money. They did the work. They deserve the money. So I'm going to go ahead and pay them, but I'm not, I'm not going to stop following up with this insurance company. I think they're just running out the clock because they've already told me, well, ma'am, our policy is we don't pay claims that are over a certain, after a certain amount of time has, la has lapsed, you know, at, after the passage of time, we will not pay the claims. I think it's like 18 months. It might be even shorter, a shorter duration. I think it's 18. After they're 18 months old, we don't pay them. That's our policy. I'm like, you're just running out the clock then. You're just going to keep telling me you didn't receive anything. And then it's going to be, whoops, well, they're all too old. So, yeah, we're not, we're not going to pay them anyway. <laughs> Tough break, huh? Yeah. Yeah. After what I paid in premiums for this insurance every month, it, it makes me physically sick to know that, they, you know, I paid my part of these procedures. I paid my share. This was the insurance company's part. It makes me physically ill that I've already paid so much money to this company and they're just not doing anything. And I, I want to stop them from doing this to, to anybody else because you know damn well they are. You know they are. I know I'm not the only one. I want I, I just wish I had some way to you know keep them from doing this to somebody else which is why I talked to the insurance commission like there's got to be something I can do there's got to be some kind of complaint I can file something there's got to be something so I'm going to call the insurance commission again this morning I'm gonna call them again tell them what the Department of Labor told me and I don't know I mean I just see what I can do there has to be something it's bullshit so, so far today, my day has not worked out too well. Um, I did find something cute in the school supply section, and I, I bought it. It was only $4.97. Look at these little reward erasers. Aren't they cute? Look at them. The little animals. I want to do an up-close video looking at all these little animals. 
This is four four ninety seven for all these little little reward erasers. They're so cute. Look at the little koala. <laughs> and this zebra here, he has hinged legs, so you can move his little legs. <laughs> so I did get that. What else did I get? I bought, this is my favorite eyebrow pencil right here. It's gone way up in price, I noticed today. It is now $7.12. It used to be like five bucks, now it's $7.12. But this is great. It's a it's um called Get Your Fill and it's from Almay or Almay or whatever the fuck. The color is 801 Dark Blonde and that's what I'm wearing right here. I don't have a lot on right now, but I really like it. It's really great. I keep coming back to this one. I've tried others. There's one from M Model Modelco. I don't know how you say it. It's a wonderful eyebrow pencil but it's very expensive. It's like $30 and it goes really fast. You use it up really fast. It lasts like no time. I don't know what the hell, but you just you, with normal use, they don't last long at all. These last longer and they're okay. They're, they're, they're okay. And, but yeah, now they're $7.12. And my lips are still giving me hell. So I bought a product. I, I've heard of this product. I remember seeing commercials for it as a kid. And this stuff is supposed to cure basically anything that's wrong with you. <laughs> I bought some Blue Star ointment. Same original formula as 1920. I'm going to start putting this shit on my lips and see what happens. The, the active ingredient is camphor. It says that you can use it for eczema, and I'm almost wondering if this is some sort of eczema. I've had eczema before. Every now and then I will break out with eczema right up around my hairline, just out of nowhere. And it seems to happen when I've been really stressed out. Will it hurt my lips? Probably. I know you might be screaming at me now, for the love of God, don't put that on your lips. I'm going to put it on my lips. I'm going to put it on there. Yes, I am. Maximum strength, soothing itch relief, heals and restores, moisturizes and protects, hydrocortisone and steroid free. You go ahead and scream at me all you want to. I have run out of ideas. I know, I need to call my doctor. But I actually think I might go to a dermatologist. Um, I discovered last night, just by accident, I was I was adjusting the settings on my webcam and I was leaning forward on the table and the the camera was right above my head. I have a mole. I saw in the in the on the screen, I have a mole back here that I didn't know was there. And I did not like the look of it and I want to go have a dermato I want to have a dermatologist look at that mole cuz it looks really It I mean it's not super bad, but I've never seen that mole before. So I want to have them look, I want to have a dermatologist look at that. And I may, I may try to get an appointment soon so I can ask them what the hell's going on here. Because it's not getting any better. It's, it's not. They, they just, the, it, I didn't, I didn't think about it being some type of eczema, but it may actually be. Anyway, you can use this stuff for dry cracked heels, itchy dry skin, mosquito bites, Sweaty, itchy feet, and minor skin irritations. Yes, I remember seeing commercials for this stuff. Like, it fixes everything. If you have any problems at all, Blue Star Ointment will fix it for you. I remember they had a whole list of, of conditions that this stuff supposedly treats. What was the list? Jock itch, eczema, psoriasis... Tether, which I still don't know what the hell tether is. T-E-T-T-E-R. I could look it up. I just haven't bothered. And I remember seeing that going, what is tether? What the hell is tether? That sounds awful. Same original formula. I bet it smells strong. It has a full seal on it because they're worried about me. Let's see. Don't do it, Mary. Oh my God, says. Woo! That smells like, that smells like Lysol toilet cleaner. It does. It smells just like the blue Lysol toilet cleaner. <laughs> okay. 
Well, shit, if it doesn't work, I can use it on mosquito bites. I don't know. So I'm kind of disappointed. I was really looking forward to um, doing a video in here. I was really, I was all, you, you ever just get, you just get motivated and geared up to do something and then for some reason it doesn't happen and it's just, blah. it's like I have walked through blue balls or something. So yeah, it's just, it's way too noisy. There are way too many people in there putting out stock and shouting back and forth to one another and slamming boxes and yeah no I, I can't I can't they're on literally every aisle of the, of the school supplies there are two or three people on pretty much every aisle so not today so I'm gonna have to do some other video today anyway I guess I guess I will go home and get to work on my day job and continue catching up on all the work that piled up last week but it's Tuesday it'll be all right we'll, we'll do the schools we'll do the back to school stuff we're going to do a walk through and look at all the school supplies we may do Target and Walmart it depends on how much time I have and then we're going to like I was saying we'll go shopping for school supplies later we're going to do that then I'll do a show and tell of the products and so yeah it's a whole thing so we're gonna do that but apparently we're not doing it today so I'm gonna have to give them a little bit longer to get everything put out or try a different store which is possible that's a possibility too <sighs> anyway I guess I'll go home and get to work but thank you so much for watching and for being here I hope your day is going well and, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you again soon.